Hello everyone and welcome to the all-in-one guide in making a uh, word search scheme. Um, my name is Perf Taco. Um, if you don't want to call me Perf Taco, my name is Joe Colley Games. You can find me on Twitter. That is all my game dev stuff. So that would be very cool if you went and followed that. So basically this video, if you don't know what the hell a word search is, you're kind of stupid. It's basically where you have 2D grid where filled with letters. Some of the letters make words, some letters don't. They need to be placed up and down, vertical, diagonal, uh, positive, or diagonal, negative. And then in each one of those, it can be forwards or backwards. You have to, one, place the numbers, two, um, numbers, am I fucking stupid? You have to place the, uh, the words in any order they want to go in. Then you have to fill in it with random letters, and then you just have to select them. And once you're all done selecting, you win. It's pretty simple. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this, so I'm just going to get into the, the code. And my to do is we're going to start with this um, the word search grid parent. So basically, if you get these things are amazing. So what they do is instead of... Instead of... Uh, manually doing for loops with your own stuff you basically can just take the slap this grid uh layout grid on and just change the numbers and it does the grid for you it does spacing as well so you can be like right on top of each other and you can also use this thing where you can change um like anything about it so like say we want it to be 13 or you know like maybe 776 you know like it, they're awesome stuff and Basically, my code looks for uh, the end of random word, which is right here, and then the start of bracket slash div, and then it pumps all of what's in there, which should be the word. Every time it's worked, it's been the word, and it pumps that into as the word, and if the word is uh, less than a certain length, um, then it's all good, and it adds it to the list. All right, this is the code that I used to get it done, so if you like this, just gander and gaze at it. It might not be perfect, but it's code. Alright, next we need to place the word. Uh, next we need to place the word. So what we do is we get a random x and a random y value, and then we check, we add together the word length, which for example is apple, and then we add the starting x plus the word length, which would be, in this case if it was 0, it would be 5. If that is less than the, the dimensions of the grid, then the word is good. That would be for the x, and you also do that for the y by just adding um, adding it to the start y and to the start x. And then for the diagonals, it's just you add it to both, and then that's pretty much it. So then we have to go into id valid for whores. I think this way, I think I could have done the is valids a lot better, but it was kind of just what I did, and I just built upon it, and that's kind of what... That's where I am today. So basically, we have a we have a bunch of parameters. We have check forward, word, start x, start y, and the grid. Check forward is only there because I had an issue where I would only check if the word was good forward, and then right after I checked if it was good forward, I would then ask if I want to switch it around, and I would never check if it, if I never check if I wanted it backwards or forwards. I would just check forwards. So now uh, we say we check forwards. We go in through the word. We do it. We go through each letter in the word. First, we check if it is a letter. If it is a letter, uh, we keep going again. If not, it just continues like no problem. If the letter is the same lexicographical unit. If this the le if the letter that we ran into is not the same lexicographical um, representation, basically I'm saying if it's not the same exact letter, because if you convert a char to an int, it is a number. So basically, I'm just saying, and I okay. So there's definitely better ways to do this, but I was running into issues, and I this was the way that worked, so I stuck with it. But basically, this right here is for intersection of words. So I'm saying if it is not the same exact letter, then return false and it is not, it's not a valid place. So basically if you had apple and, uh, 
elephant. Like you'd go A P P L E. And then if you're trying to place ele elephant, you go E L. Is this the same exact letter? Yes, it is. And then it would place the E where an E is supposed to be so that the apple and the elephant can intersect peacefully. So if you want to return a random letter, basically what you do is you search up your uh, nearest ASCII chart and you look up the the range of words that you want. And for Unity, random.range works as it includes the first one and it doesn't include the second one. Uh, the second value, which I mean is if you have 0 to 100 or is there 0 to 99, that's still 100 digits, but you do not get 100 as an option. So basically you make sure you want to do 1 plus that um, X range and you will get uh, the range that you want. This is the words that, uh, what's up, Gus? Uh, these are the words that are on the side. Basically, whatever words that you find, we place so that you can actually see what you need to find instead of just finding random words because I feel like it was already hard enough because they're random words each time. So I thought this would just be a little helpful uh, to see what uh, you actually are looking for. Um, basically, if the mouse pointer enters, and the manager allows you to select and it is currently not selected itself it will add it to the selected list and it will add it to the selected string and then it'll set itself true so i can't get it again. it is selecting it's added to the list let me actually go over here so you can see it adds it adds the list and it adds the string as you can see it's just nonsense and junk and then when i release it clears it all. So when you hover over the mouse, um, it gets a little bigger and it scales up just so you kind of know where you are. That is achieved with, nope, there we go. And this is used with uh, vent triggers. So basically when the pointer is enters, it will make it a little bigger and when it exits, it'll make it a little smaller. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it all together. It uh, looks something like this. Nice little, nice little word search. It's uh, it was pretty fun. It was definitely challenging, especially getting the random words. But other than that, it was definitely a blast. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. And if you learned anything new, just like it comment what you learned new and other than that have a nice day